with the base now self-sufficient and their armor and weaponsmithing outpost producing good quality armor, Ryoshi thought it was time to go and scout out the Oni Brothers. He believed in his skeleton squad that he'd sent out to the Fog Islands to train and recruit ready for the fight. He had organized that they would meet in the Shek territory at Agmag. There he hoped to find allies among the Shek ready to help him fight against the Oni Brothers. But only time would tell whether they were actually up to the challenge. Ryoshi left Mew in charge of the settlement. She alone was left from the original group, and Ryoshi trusted her with his life. And so the group set off to Admag, ready to join their friends and allies in the fight against the Oni Brothers. Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, we have most of our Skelly squad on their way to Admag. I'm a little bit concerned because I loaded up the game briefly just now, and my squad got attacked outright by skeletons for no reason. I mean, I did check. None of them are wearing stolen armor. None of them are wearing anything that looks remotely like it would be any other faction. So I'm really not sure why they would attack me. It's a bit weird. I'm not quite sure. So I don't really know what to do. Shek might not like me since I allied with the United Cities. I don't believe that should turn them hostile. I mean, we haven't had anything that says that's the case. Let's have a look at them. Minus one. Could that be it? Because we technically have a minus. They attacked us. I don't know. We're going to get these lot anyway, because we actually did say that he was going to meet them by Admag. They can come over here. I guess we'll get one of them to go in. And worst case scenario, they can then uh, run away. Leon, I'm trusting you. Go into Admag and hopefully you'll be fine. I need you to run into the bar and trade. Hmm, a trader's guild dog sniffing at our doorstep. Okay, they don't seem to want to attack us. This should be interesting. Let's trade. So are they going to attack me anyway? Despite the fact we can trade with them, we're absolutely fine. Let's buy some carrot wraps and a few other bits, and then get the hell out of here. Retired Tech Hunter Mars. Talk to you. I'm a little bit worried about this guy. Hey there, Traveller. I haven't seen you here before. The name's Mares. I'm Retired Tech Hunter. Used to be one of the best back in the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Rebob. Ah, those were the days. Come over here and have a seat. Sure, why not? Two of you some stories. Danger, treasure, and loss. Until the Retired Tech Hunter pauses for a moment. So you must have known some secret untouched places to find old tech, right? The Retired Tech Hunter looks at you with a look of both sadness and disappointment. I do happen to know such location. I lost my whole team. Cut me up real good. I saw that robot cut my best friend, Puri's arm, clean off. Cut through her like butter. Like butter, I tells you. I just kept running till I passed out of blood loss. It was found by some nomads. That was the last great hunt. I only did small fry stuff after that. Till I retired. Now I just hang out here, drinking and exchanging stories. Wow, what's tell? I take it you never went back? Hell no, and you'd be crazy to go there. But if you had that it finding old tech... We've just got a death wish, and I'll tell you. But just just be careful, like really careful. That place is dangerous, and it ain't really a secret. The locals just know to avoid it. Well, if you head due west from the city, till you reach the water, you'll find it's along the coast, around what looks to be some old shipyard. Can you believe it that in the past people were able to make metal float? I just have no idea how they did it. Anyway, it's some strange vault of some sort. Well, look a bit. Good luck. Takes a big swig from the cup. You're gonna need it. You're the best. Cheers. Uh, pillage. Hit them where it hurts. Rush them. I'm here to help. Uh, does that mean they're going to attack me? Locking up. You're locking me. Why are you locking me up? I don't understand. It's only a few of them. Most of them seem to be fine with me. But yeah, they are attacking me for no reason. Maybe they just want the challenge? I'm not really sure. Whatever the case, let's, let's get out of here. Leon, just run. I don't really want to attack you. I want to be friends. I don't want to attack you. Yeah, they're coming to fight me. Why? It's only a few of them. Like, the guards don't mind me. Can you help? A guild lackey arsehole twat. <laughs> they don't want to talk to me. Yeah, it's like they just don't like me because I'm allied with... Yeah, they're all just attacking me now. They're all outright attacking me. Um, Leon, just run your ass off. Right, I don't think the Shek are going to like me then. I thought we could ally with them. Looks like that's not the case. How are we going to do this? We're now in enemy territory. <laughs> um, oh, God, we're deep in enemy territory. Well, it did say we go west from here. 
I guess let's go to the hive over there, and I reckon let's go see if we can find this um, mysterious vault. I suppose that's something. Who's attacking you? The triangle bandits. You kind of picked the wrong people to fight. You'd be lucky if you get a hit on us. Okay, there are quite a few more. Oh, they did get a hit on Infinite Wing Wang, but to be fair, it's Infinite Wing Wang. Oh, we're absolutely slaughtering them. Oh, they did get a hit. Uh, there's not going to be anyone who has a bounty, right? Probably not. Shame. Thinking we could have taken them to the shack, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Right. Go to the hive. So, I guess let's go into the bar. Who are you fighting? They're fighting tech hunters. Why? Right, anyway, get into the bar. You are lost. No trade for lost ones. Go away, hiveless. That's because of beep, isn't it? But I'm carrying him. Uh, fine. Right, okay. Um, Go to that hive then, I guess. We'll just have to keep beep far away from everyone. Damn beep. <laughs> Screwing it up. You're going to start starving unless we find something to eat. Ah, that looks promising. They said no shipyard. Strange vault. It's right here. There's a tower as well. Interesting. Right, okay. And is this... Yeah, it's an actual bar. Okay, cool. So, right. Let's make sure that Beep is nowhere near the shop. Where is the shop? Right, we've got one there. We needed the bar, though. It's over there. Cool. Leon, go into the bar. Trust you to uh, do what's best for everyone. Leon, you're going in the wrong way. What are you doing? Scrap metal. Yay, brilliant. No use to that greeting, but hello. Meep begins to travel away from you. Well, well, who do I buy from, then? You're literally stood in the middle. <laughs> what was that about? Leon, go into the bar. Trust you to uh, do what's best for everyone. Right, okay. Um, We can buy some food. So, we've got two things. It looks like there's a strange tower over there, and it looks like this is a strange vault. The fact that we've got Western Hive here makes me think we could probably just lure some over if there are any enemies in there, and they would be able to help us out. I don't see many soldiers outside, though. Actually, there are a few. They're just uh, camouflaged in, but there are some. Oh, a mini beak thing. Oh, no, it makes me sad. I can't look. I reckon we put our squidgy friends down. You guys all stay together. I want you to be passive and hold for the time being. You're going to go there. You lot. Leon's her great tale of what could be in this vault. So I think we're going to go check it out. I would like to check what's out over there. Does anyone have the ability to smash this? Uh, does anyone have any tools for that matter? No. Okay, Leon, you know what? Smash. Just, just smash. Uh, can all of you smash? That would be quite good. Smash. Everyone smash. There we go. We keep doing this. Eventually, we'll get through. You know what? While we're doing that, Freckman, do you want to run over to that tower? Because it won't take you very long. You can literally just run through the water. Check out what's at that tower. Right. Okay. We're in. Crackman's halfway to the tower. Oh, God. We've got Va Vault Guard Otron 9000 and a giant Vault Spider. How many of those skeletons do we have? Oh, that's a lot of them. Um, uh, get out, run. I presume they're not going to follow us out, are they not? Um, tell you what. Might need to get one of them to go in and lure them out. No, run. Okay, they're out, they're out, they're out. Get back, get back, you fools. Okay, it seems like they're not coming straight out. You four on that one. You three on that one. We can take them out a couple at a time. That's no problem. How strong are they? They're quite strong, but against, like, three-on-one, it's not really a contest, is it? There you go. Right, that's fine. Let's take that. And where's the other one that you probably dropped somewhere? No idea. Well, we got one down. Can't see the other one. He's He's gone. Right, Leon, you lure a couple more out. Run. Oh, God. Okay, we got a spider right there. Uh... Oh god, the thing, the spider's out, the spider's out. Oh god. <laughs> um, I reckon we lure that over. Right, take the skeleton out. Right, and run away. 
lure the giant spider over to here. The hives can help. Right, and now attack the skeleton again. Just want to try and take it out before the spider gets to us, but it's not going to be possible, is it? Uh, are you coming to help? Home aggression territory. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, the problem is the hivers are very squishy. So this might be a bit of a problem. Um, sorry, what? Re? There's a fog man here. What? Uh, just the a single one? It's a named fog man. It's seriously just one fog man. He's a very big fog man, to be fair. But he's still quite squishy. Right, how's the spider doing over here? Uh, well, that skeleton's toast. The spider's nearly toast. You know what? You want to just uh, help out? There we go. I think that one's toast. You know what? We're going to leave it to the hivers. Go back to the vault. Right, well, Crackman took care of that one. Uh, only a single one here. Really? It's so weird. Let's open it. Oh. Um, there's lots of fogmen here. <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, more fogmen and a fog prince. What's on the... the more, more? Oh my god, there's so many. Fogman, fog... There's so many fogmen. Um... Oh, is a safe? Craig, are you up to this challenge? I'm not quite sure if you are. Well, go on in. Go to town. What weapon do you have? Armor penetration, indoor penalty. Come outside and attack all. Yeah, there we go. You're fine. You, uh, uh, you might be fine. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be fine. <laughs> We'll get someone else to help him, worst case scenario, but I think he might have it covered. He seems to be... Yeah, it's like one hit, they go down. I think he's going to be fine. Uh, the rest of them... Oh, they've they've got into a fight. Oh, short circuit has that. No, you fool. You're not meant to have it on you. There we go. Um, are you all okay? Okay, Crankshaft took that one out. Thank you. Oh, Leon... Uh loot that one. I need to make sure they don't get up. Check the vault. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get back up, though. Right, crankshaft. Thank you. I right, literally one left. There we go. Uh, glue. He doesn't have one. Crackman seems to have annihilated all of them. Well done, Crackman. Didn't doubt you for a second. Well, Go start looting whatever they've got. While you're waiting to heal yourself up, let's go in. There might be a few more in there, not quite sure. Uh, there are. Okay, just a tackle. There's three, actually. Thought there was only two. That's fine. Still pretty good odds, really. I'll let them finish them off. Right, glue. Take that off him. Oh, come on, just finish him off. There's only one. It's not that hard, is it? That one got back up. Who the hell is that? Got Holy Nation Outlaws here. Do you mind? Like, what are you doing? There's just two that they're non-stop fighting. He's basically dead. There, just take him out. Crankshaft, take that. Thank you. Everyone heal yourself up. How are you doing? Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. What do we get? A samurai helmet, uh, medium colored. Uh, got caught stealing. Got caught stealing. There we go. Uh, nothing. Lockpick that. Model Edge Type 1 Training Saber. Why would you need a training saber that's that good? Minus 100% against robots, humans, and animals. For building skill. I mean, I'm going to take it just because. Leon, loot all this stuff. Can we get anything from these? No, we do have some skeleton repair beds that you guys could heal yourself up in. Yeah, you guys get in them. Anything? Anything? No. I can loot that. Nothing in any of them. Really, really useful stuff so far. There's nothing in here. What is the point of this? Right, Leon's opened this one. Oh my god, look at that. Right, it is, it is legendary. Tempest Stampede. This blade has no detailed note to come with it. Describe its backstory like the other legendary weapons we've found. Just a short note that says, 10,000 shall fall, still 10,000 more. Spooky. This weapon is incredibly heavy, but when you... Fit in your hands, you feel unstoppable. And you also have a long cleaver with it, which says Type 1. That's amazing. I think this is the first legendary weapon I've ever found. 
How heavy is it? 55 kilos. It's worth 103,000. That's insane. Uh, it's actually to the point that it's actually encumbered Leon. Heavy weapons is pretty sh pants, really. Correct, Quinn. What about you? You're really good with heavy weapons. I don't know. I kind of wanted, like, Izara or Ruka to have it, but realistically, you might be better. That looks very nice. <laughs> that is huge. Uh, we have a war hammer. It's worth a lot of money. It's really heavy. Crankshaft has finally unlocked that. A samurai mace. That's worth quite a lot. We're getting quite a lot of good stuff from here. Oh, no, you can unlock the safe now. Right. We don't need Ryoshi over here. We've had 10%. You've tried like 100 times, Leon. Come on. Any time now. Thank you. What do we get? A Ronin Talons. A long pole arm with unique curved handle. Combat with this weapon looks more like an elaborate dance than a fight due to the sweeping roundhouse strikes. Arm penetration plus 20. Percent. Attack bonus plus 8. Versus animals plus 50%. It's, it's a nice weapon. And then try the safe. What the heck is that? A giant mace. One of the heaviest weapons ever made on the hardest to handle. It's 39 kilograms. I mean, that's 55. <laughs> so it's not that heavy, is it? Give it to Zol. Zol looks like he could uh, use the fun. Right, how encumbered is Zol? Zol is not encumbered. And can you use heavy weapons? You're alright with them. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. What do we get? A dagger. And repel any drunken in a bar. And useful for removing food from your teeth. Not that good in a real battle. Uh, it's worth 5k though. So I'll take that. Right, you lot go to Krekwin, please. Right, and before anything else, we have our guys here, the potato peelers, uh, ready to kind of stock up on any extra weapons and armor that we have. And I believe we've got some books. Yeah, Ryoshi's got some books. And we should have, I guess, some better armor for Ruka and Isaiah. Toothpick's already got his set, doesn't he? Yeah, masterwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. No, I don't think the hood's worth it. I think that's why I didn't go for it. It's just, it seems a bit weird going to battle, though, with awful, awful headgear. I guess we did find that masterwork samurai helmet. Like, that would probably do. Okay, we could make some more boots for them, I guess. What are the boots looking like? Impaler boots. Stealth effect, assassination, uh, athletics, dexterity. It's not too bad. Get off repeat, you. We'll make one more pair of pants like you're doing. Then we'll do that. And we can buy them for ourselves. That looks all good. Right, go make some boots for our guys. Once we've got two pairs of boots, I think we're set. Our guys have just entered this place. Uh, Leon, you want to crack open that? Uh, what do we have in here? An ancient book. Okay, that's not bad. Re. Okay, fine. Can we take that one on? Just... Just... There we go. <laughs> Next floor. Once again, we've got a single fog man, but he's dead. Okay, I think we might have done our job here then. Yeah, every all of the fogmen are dead. Uh, Crackman single-handedly took out all the fogmen in this place. Amazing. Okay, what have we got in here then? Samurai boots specialist grade. Uh, not bad. I'm going to take them. Shovel. Not going to bother with that. The safe looks like the thing that we really want. There we go. What do we get in here then? Another shovel. <laughs> Great. Uh, really worth it. Where's that pole arm? Is that going to be better than the one that crackman has got? Uh, I think much better. Arm penetration is better. Cutting damage is much better. I think the one that Leon's got is technically better. What do you mean? Crackman is right there. You can obviously trade with him. Okay, that's not bad. Let's go back to the other ones. Tower of Fog, it's called. Interesting. Go back to the others. I didn't realize Crankshaft has 70 in that. I didn't realize Crankshaft was that good. I knew he was good, but that's nuts. What weapon do you currently have? Fragment Circle. No, 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 no. Uh, Leon, he, for the time being, can have that. Crankshaft uh, can wield it absolutely fine. It's massive legendary sword. Oh, I really want to see him use it. Okay, cool. Right, our team is pretty much up to full strength. Go meet up with the other ones. Uh, we need to get them out of here. We need to get them probably over to Adnok before <laughs> anything kicks off because I don't really want them dying. Okay, while they're swimming, Redrick, I'm hoping you've got good news for me. Ruka, go and claim your prize. There we go. And Isaiah, claim your prize. So really, we just need some better head... Yeah, you, you look the part now. You definitely look the part, Isaiah. You've come a long way. Uh, and you can wear all of that with only a minor encumbrance. 
And I, no, actually, that's not even an encumbrance. That's just due to the equipment slowing you down a little bit. That's fine. Uh, Ruka, you the same? Yeah, Ruka's the same. We couldn't get longs, could we? One of you had longs, but we weren't able to research it because... Here we go. Cannot learn this yet. We need crossbow crafting. Crossbow crafting. We can get that. Then the next one I wanted to get was... We get that. Then we get large. And then that means that we can make all the buildings, which is going to be great. Uh, we'll research these ones because then we can actually unlock long bolts and then we can make our own. So that's kind of what we're waiting for. So I think we're going to get our guys to wait here just for a little bit until we've got enough long bolts. Because currently green has nothing. And Ace, I need to upgrade his weapon. Brett, why do you have that? I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Ryoshi actually to sell some of this gear that we, we're just not going to use. Because this is worth a lot of money and we can always just make more. We've got four more we can upgrade. One, two, three, four. So if we keep four lots of each, we can then take that over when we meet up with the other skeletons. That might be quite nice. And that should give us quite a lot of cats. I'm hoping then that we can go to the Skeleton City and buy a decent bow for Ace. Finally, after all this time. Uh, nowhere near. I thought there was going to be a lot more than that. Uh, 25,000 cats. I think we need nearer fifth. Okay, well, maybe we might get something when Leon sells half the stuff at the Hive. You never know. But we'll wait here for a bit until we've got crossbow crafting, until we've made enough long bolts for the journey, basically. And I think we'll be all right. Welcome to my establishment, Metal Freak. It's always nice to be called a freak, isn't it? Do you speak? Yeah, I want to actually trade with you. Don't do this again. Yes, I'm here for a drink. Good. Um, map of Vein, Western Hive, Hiver Buildings. Oh, we can actually make some Hiver Buildings. It's actually quite cheap. Yeah, sure, let's, let's do that. I've got a bunch of these weapons. I could just sell them. They're quite good samurai boots. I'm going to keep them. Sell the Warhammer. Sell this dagger. Oh, Crankshaft had that one. Yeah, we don't need that samurai mace. It's minus 20 cent, but realistically, we're not going to sell it anywhere else. Uh, you can sell them. We don't need them now. Uh, it's 35k. That's not bad. Sell them. Because I don't think we're going to need them anytime soon. 41,000. I think that's probably good enough. The way station would be a good place, actually, because that's Tech Hunters. Make your way over there. Once you're there, that'll be Tech Hunters, not Sheck. And that's probably the best place we're going to be able to go to. It would be really cool, though, if we were able to get, like, more legendary weapons before we went took the fight to the Oni Brothers. Like, if we were able to get, like, le actually, we were able to get, like, legendary weapons for like, everyone. Like, it would be amazing. Um, I do love the idea, though, that Crankshaft, this uh, robot that we managed to recruit from the Skeletons, he's come to help, and he's just the biggest badass ever. I mean, those stats... I don't think I really took into effect how good he is. Like, having that in everything, he's probably one of the best characters in the game. He's probably up there with quite a lot of the uh, the good ones, the greats. He would be the best with pretty much anything. But having that stuff with heavy weapons, with how strong he is, I really want to just see how much damage he can give from one hit. And the thing is, he's still got really subpar armor. Once he gets that Impaler armor... He's going to be amazing. Ridiculous. We got through the whole of Vayne, didn't see anything that was, <laughs> was actually able to be attacked. Oh, Crankshaft, we're just going to have to look out for something for you to try and attack with that, because my god, it's going to be crazy when you can. I love how Crumple John is leading the pack. Look at him. <laughs> Puts fear into you, doesn't it? Fear of God, looking at Crumple John running towards you. Right, while those guys are uh, running around, we need to get our guys to various locations, see if we can find some information about the Oni Brothers. So I would say, Ryoshi, you should probably run to Black Scratch. They have that massive library, so I guess you're, if you can find any information on the Oni Brothers, it's going to be there. You run to there really quick. Who can we get to run to go see if we can get this crossbow? Um, toothpick. I guess you can go back to the Black Desert City. Good as any to go there. And the rest of you, I guess, just mill around, hang out for a bit. Right, Toothpick is at the scrap house. Um, I actually got Ryoshi to run back to Adnok to unload all the armor because I realized, uh, yeah, he was carrying all that stuff and it was slowing him down massively. So he's unloaded that. Right, let's see if they have an Eagle Cross. I'm worried it's going to be more than 41,000. We'll see. Show me what you've got. Uh, where is it? A specialist is 20. Oh, no, we should have enough. Specialist. It looks like they've only got specialist. That's fine. I don't mind. Especially, it's still really, really good. 
So, yeah, I don't mind grabbing that. The only problem is you're not going to carry it, are you? You are really the wrong character to take. You know what? I'm going to just get Green to come over. Green, you come over here because you have acid resistance naturally anyway and you're really quick. Uh, Toothpick, I'm going to send you back to Adnok. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Ryoshi's already at Brink. Amazing. And what about the others? Are they near the way station? They are at the way station. Anyway, our guys are here. I guess we'll stick outside for the time being. We could go into the bar, I guess. I just don't want to cause any problems. I think a group this size always causes problems, or at least it has done this series anyway. You don't know anything about the Oni Brothers, do you? No. Uh, let's go into the bar. Map of Swamps, Map of Vane, Map of United Cities. No, we know all of that. They have a Thieves' Backpack. You're not sold. Why are you fighting a drifter? What's wrong with you? Attacking troublemakers. Stop. No, you are all going on passive. And hold. You're not causing any trouble. You keep causing trouble. <laughs> not our fault that that random drifter attacked us. There. Stay still, for the love of God. Don't attack anyone. <laughs> Those things look tough. Yeah, especially since you literally have no weapon because you've got no ammo at all for your Masterwork Eagle Cross. You will just have the Specialist, I guess, again. Yeah. Okay. Buy the Specialist one. That leaves us with 14,000 cats, which isn't bad. Well, Green, you run back to Adnock then. Give Ace his prize. Hopefully at that point, we'll have unlocked crossbow smithing. We'll be able to unlock finally the long bolts, make some, and then we can... um. Yeah, attempt to go over and fight the Oni Brothers. There we go, finally. And there we go, we finally unlocked Long Bolts. Excellent. Green, that's not a good idea running next to the thing that you know is going to attack you. Little bit idiotic. I only run 11 miles an hour and you go, you know what, I'm going to run straight into it. That seems like a plan. Right, and in other news, Ryoshi has made it to Black Scratch. I'm hoping here we'll be able to finally find some the Oni Brothers. Ryoshi, welcome to my bookshop. Let's trade. So hopefully you know something about the Oni Brothers. You've got like all the tech prints and all the books and everything. Uh, for those in search of endless dunes and a rebellious bunch simmering in obscurity against the United Cities. I mean, that might be good if we want to fight them. Tech Hunter Library, yep. Scribes map? Way station to tech scribes. Not sure if we're really fussed about that this time. Ancient military documents, border zone, we know all of this. <gasps> Oni Castle, a horrible murderer called Oni lives. Please be careful when passing nearby. Reward 120,000 cats. Well, let's find out where this place is. Oh, they're at the crater. Right, interesting. So we could pass through the swamp then. Oh, actually, we could get some mercenaries from Clown Steady. Ah, that's a good idea. Get some from Drifters last. We get we can go back to our roots. Scar oh, all that time ago. Anyway, we should be able to get some mercenaries, hopefully from Clown Steady, Bank Crim, and Drifters Last. At that point, we could try and take fight the Oni Brothers. I don't think there's much in the crater. This will be this will be good. This will be really good. For now, uh Ryoshi, run back to Adnok. We need to get these crossbow bolts first and foremost. And then we can all set off towards Cloud Study. Right, and Green, where are you? You give Ace this specialist Eagle Cross. Congratulations, Ace, you deserve it. And Ace, you need to trade up all the stuff you've got, because you've got so much stuff you really do not need. Oh, look at that. Impaler arm wrap. So does that go in your chest slot? Ace, come here. That's really good for crossbows. So that goes in your chest slot. Yeah, look at that. We get a positive for crossbow effect, fist protection, perception bonus. That's really good. Impaler hood. Much better effect for crossbows as well. The hood, though, was really good for crossbows, wasn't it? Let's have a little look. See, if it is, it might be worth making uh, a couple of bits for green and ace. Uh, so let's have a look. The hood. It's amazing for crossbow effect. Uh colored alt you know what let's make a couple of these i'll get you to make some boots as well for ace that'll do so you get on with that and you should be able to make a couple of pairs for you guys lingu is on this how how's the longs doing 
You've nearly made your first one. Congratulations. Just another 19 to go. And then we're done. Excellent. So it's going to take a little while, by the look of it, for all this to be done. So I think I might call it a day. Maybe we should just get them all to meet up here. I mean, it's not a bad place to meet up. And then we can venture down together to Clown Steady. Yeah, and we did say that we would meet up near Admag. So I guess one of them being able to meet up with Ryoshi isn't that big a surprise. We keep one of them scouts looking and waiting for uh, Ryoshi to appear. That'll be all right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Tallman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Birchall, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, and Heretic. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It really helps keep it afloat. So I just can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. So cheers, guys, and I will see you next episode. Bye bye.